thanks for coming down. That's all right, my pleasure. Totally appreciate it. Um, seven hour drive. Seven and a half with, with sat nav um, help. <laughs> so Darren's had two cups of tea <laughs> and uh, we're all ready to go now. Um, you're going to demonstrate quickly the your method of making sides uh, yeah. from veneers. Yes. And then uh, tomorrow we'll talk about the advantages of that okay. and why you would want to do that. Okay, fine. So you're just going to briefly take us quickly through the process. Yep. I'm going to stand out the way. Okay, no problem. And uh, maybe if we've got any questions, Lewis as well, you could just shout them out. Is that all right? Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Cool. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about veneers then. Yeah. Do you, would you call them veneers or laminations or what, what do you well, call them? Well, you're, you're starting with veneers. So the individual layer of wood is called a veneer. Uh -huh. Once it's bonded together, like we have done with, with this, I'll refer to that as a lamination. A, lamination. Okay. Um, a laminate, which some people you hear that, that term used, isn't a term that I would apply to this. A laminate that is more often what um, you'd call a um, product like Formica is what's a, uh, it's a high pressure laminate. But this is a lamination, so this is layers of material that have been bonded together. And so what are the advantages of using a veneer over a, a solid piece of wood? Well, there, the are, there, there, there are several. I mean, from a cost point of view, veneers are cheaper than, than solid wood. Um, so you can buy some very, very highly figured veneers at a much lower cost than you could buy the equivalent solid. You can probably source them far more easily than the equivalent solid. Um, and there's a much wider range of veneers available than, than there is solid. Um, so if you start laminating guitar components, you've, you've got more choices. I mean, this, this one is a particularly crazy example, but you know, the, even things like bird's eye maple, you can find very, very nice bird's eye maple veneer far easier than you can the equivalently high quality solid. Virtually impossible yeah. to find yeah. as solid and virtually impossible to bend as well. Yeah. So to be able to make an acoustic from bird's eye is pretty spectacular. Yeah. Well, I'll, I've got one of the or the other Macaferry nylon strung that's nearly finished. That That's in bird's eye maple. So I'll, I'll post some pictures of that. Yeah, brilliant. <coughs> Check on the website and uh, we'll put some pictures up of that. Are there any special glues we need to use? Well, when I'm laminating backs and sides, I use a uh, urea formaldehyde resin. Okay. Uh, lots, of, lots of woodworkers out there are probably familiar with cascomite as a product. Yeah. Well, actually, I thought it reminded me of cascomite. Yeah. Well, what, what cascomite is, it's a powder resin and a powder hardener that, all, that are already pre-mixed in the can right in the tin so when you take the lid off you mix those two parts and this is yeah so it's that it's that what it looks like when it's gone hard. It's that, yeah exactly it's that that color um so you you, you just add water to, to cascomite powder uh -huh. the problem with that is that because you've got the resin and the hardener already mixed as soon as you take the lid off the tin the moisture in the atmosphere starts those two parts reacting with one another so if you've had the lid off of the tin for a month i don't mean sat there and you open it put it back on a month later you come back 25 percent of the resin and the hardener have reacted uh -huh. so what you're then doing is you're then actually creating a, a matrix of active adhesive with already gone off powder so the the, the, the quality of the, the the strength or the strength of that adhesive decreases fairly rapidly um, the system that i use is actually a liquid resin with a, a powder hardener and then I'll also add something called an extender powder which it's a bit of a, it's the wrong name for it really. It doesn't do anything to the cure time, but what it does, um, it prevents the adhesive from squeezing through to the surface. Now, if anybody's ever done any veneering with um, epoxy, for instance, you'll know that's a real issue. Um, epoxy comes through veneer very, very easily. Um, but using this extender powder, it prevents any bleed through to the surface, which makes, makes clean up um, very, very easy. Um, it kind of makes it thick, but what it does is it, it, it blocks the pores. So as soon as it gets pushed into the veneer, it's kind of plugging, plugging the port. Exactly, through. yeah. I mean, you can see that that's the surface. And, you know, if we'd done that with epoxy, there'd be patches all over that where the glue had come through. There's no, there's no bleed through in that at all. But you can, there are other jobs where you can use 
you can use any glue, presumably. Yeah. If you want to. Right. The, the advantage of using this this type of resin for for laminations is that you've got a very very long open time. Mm -hmm. You Working know. It, time. Yeah. Exactly. It it doesn't start curing as soon as you put it on the on the wood, which PVA does or or um, tight bond does, because of the way that those um, adhesives work. Um, the water is soaking into the veneer as soon as you put it on, and that does two things. A, it starts to swell up the veneer. Um, so you may start to get wrinkles forming in the veneer, but it also means that you're trapping moisture into that panel, which even when the glue's gone off, there is still that excess moisture in the panel. Um, a UF resin goes hard purely through a chemical reaction, um, and it's not soaking into the wood and making it, it, making it expand in the way that a water-based glue does. And you can hear, you know, that goes properly hard. Is it difficult to find this stuff? Nope. No, um, again, you know, readily available. Um, or I stock it. You know, I can supply it to you. Link in the yeah, absolutely fine. Um, and the veneers as well. Are they easy to get hold of? Yeah, I'm more than happy to to source veneers and supply veneers to anybody who wants to have a go at this. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in getting hold of some of this stuff, then get in touch. Check the link in the description.